While humans across the planet fight COVID-19, a brand new strain of a different virus is killing rabbits here in the Southwest. Nine on your side's Brian Brennan has more on the outbreak that recently made it here to Southeast Arizona. If you're walking along a bike path or Arizona trail and you see a dead rabbit, officials don't want you to handle it, but they do want you to call it in as they try to track this new danger to the rabbit population. There is a non COVID-19 related virus working its way into Arizona from New Mexico. It's killing both wild and domestic rabbits. It's called a uh, ha rabbit hemorrhagic disease. Arizona Game and Fish recently announced cases of RHDV2 found in Arizona. It's associated with a high mortality rate and very contagious. It may manifest itself as lesions on the coat of a rabbit, but, but they're dying. Uh, we've had two confirmed cases and possibly four others in southeastern Arizona in the past few days. Spokesperson Mark Hart says there is no risk the virus will jump to humans or other animals. It isn't uh, dangerous to humans, it isn't dangerous to other species of animals, but it is killing rabbits and hares. Wildlife officials say rabbit owners need to practice biosecurity by washing their hands before and after working with rabbits and not sharing equipment with other owners. If you bought rabbits for the kids on Easter, they need to be quarantined for two weeks. Hart says they can use the public's help to find out how widespread the problem is. So if someone comes upon a, a dead rabbit for no obvious reason, they should call us. Rabbit owners with questions should contact their veterinarians. We'll also have the number for game and fish you can call if you see a dead rabbit. That'll be on our website attached to this story. Brian Brennan, KGUN 9, on your side.